Hello! What's up guys, it's me Alex of OPL, and today I have something special for you. This is the guide for the achievement Little Lost Girl on Origins. It is the Easter Egg we have completed. I am very, very excited to share this with you guys. This is a very simple guide, um, basically all you need to know, and it's going to help you guys get this achievement. It's actually really easy. Once you got past the, um, the first little bit, it only takes about 30 minutes to do this, so it's actually a really fast Easter Egg. Now before I begin, I'm also going to note is that you need to have the upgraded staffs. I'm basically doing this guide after you've done that. You need to upgrade your staffs and that's really easy. There's lots of videos on the internet, on YouTube. Basically just go look it up. It's really easy to do. So um, once we've done that, let's begin. So the first thing I suggest you guys doing is getting, have somebody on your team get a set of airstrike grenades. Now in order to do that, you just need to get the tablet that is tank station 2. Uh, by generator 2, bring that over to church and place it into the holy water. Once you've done that, you need to have the thunder fist, uh, uh, the, the thunder fist uh, upgrade, the punch upgrade. That's how you do the four boxes. Once you've done that, you got to make sure you can, uh, punch zombies at the holy water, and the souls will get absorbed to the tablet. Now, once it's charged, you can pick it up, and what you need to do is bring it back to the tank station um, at generator 2. The easiest way to do that is bring the tank from uh, the t uh, church and take that across the map back to it. It's very easy to make sure you don't hit any mud. That is the biggest problem with this. If you hit mud, you have to redo it. It's a bitch. Now, once you've done that, you need to put the tablet back onto the table you grabbed it on. Once there, you need to also keep um, thunder fisting all the zombies that are coming towards you, and you basically need to charge it. Once it's done, you can pick up a pair of um, airstrike grenades. Now this is necess this is very important for the next step. The next step you need to do is put all the staffs from you guys have into the robots. Now in order to do this, you need to put the air uh, staff into Odin, the lightning staff into Thor, and the ice staff into Freya. Once you've done that, you need to also put the fire staff underneath the pack-a-punch by the other uh, staff uh, podiums. That uh, That's how where you build them. Once you've done that, you'll move on to the next step. Now, once you guys have done that, basically what you need to do is now you'll notice that all three of the robots will be coming across the map at the same time. Now, what you need to do is activate a button inside the robots. Now, in order to do this, you need to go into the robot's foot. Now, the order you need to do this is very important. If you don't do this right, you'll screw up and you have to redo it, basically. Basically, what you need to do is you need to activate the two side robots first. In order to do that, just go up into it and hold down X on the button. You'll hear uh, a quote from Max is saying, uh, weapons activated, that kind of thing. It's, it's quite simple to hear. Now, once you've done that, you need your person that has the airstrike grenades to be in the middle of the map. This is important. The main reason you need this is you need the, um, the middle robot, I believe it's Odin, is uh, you need him to come towards you in the middle of the map and make sure that you can teleport up into his head so you can push the button. Now, what one player needs to do this? The other player with the airstrike grenades needs to look at this concrete pillar, and you guys need to sync this up kind of perfectly. What you need to do is have the person who's up in the robot press and hold X on the button the same time that the person throws the airstrike grenades onto that concrete. Once that's done, you'll hear a big, big thundering, and this is where it gets really, really freaking intense, guys. So um, once that's done, you'll break open the concrete. This is where you would, uh, I suggest you guys have the fire staff, because you get it after you put it into the robots. The main reason for this is that once you've done this, you need to have the Maxis drone, throw the Maxis drone toward the concrete hole, and what you guys will notice is eight panzers will spawn. Those are the robot zombies. Now, the reason I suggest you use the fire staff, it is a one-shot kill if you hold down for the charge. Um, it gets rid of these guys really easy, and one person can do this. Now, once that is done, the next thing is very important. One person, once it's done, once it's done, a person needs to get zombie blood. Now, once that person gets zombie blood, the person needs to look up in the sky and look for an aircraft that's glowing. Only the person with zombie blood can see this aircraft glowing. What the person does is that person must shoot that plane, and what will happen is it will explode. Now, a person who is Takio needs to have zombie blood available to him. This step is important. Once you have this, Takio needs to pick up the zombie blood, and basically you need to go and find a zombie that only Takio can see. Once you guys have done that and you've killed that zombie, the Maxis drone will appear again, and that's how you get it back. Now on to the next step. Now once you guys have done that, you need to go underneath the Pack-a-Punch. Basically this is how it works. Everyone needs to have the Thunder Fist available to them. 
Now what will happen is you guys just, the best way to do this is just crowd around down where the uh, staff uh, podiums are. And basically what you guys need to do is punch zombies that are glowing white from their arms. Uh, it takes around 20 to 25 zombies per person to do this. And once you've done it, um, this uh, a white uh, tab tablet will appear. The person who's done it needs to pick it up. Now, everyone in the game must have this. This is a necessity and it is very important or else this step will not work. Once you guys have done it, you guys will notice that um, you'll hear a quote from Samantha saying that you've gone up to the next thing. Now, what you guys need to do is now go to the crazy place. Uh, lots of people call it the crazy place. I consider it the gateway to Agartha. That's basically what it is. Now, when you're down there, make sure you have your staffs. You put your staffs onto the podiums that you uh, correspond with your color. Now, once down there, everyone must stay down there and punch zombies until every tablet is charged. Or uh, every staff is charged. Sorry about that. Now, once they're all charged, make sure um, you'll hear another quote from Samantha. And you'll also look up and you guys can see that um, you should have the achievement by now. Um, it'll show up. They'll have the achievement. You just got to keep powering. Uh, basically, just keep punching on the staffs and it'll show up. Now, you'll get the achievement, but the game won't end. Now, this is the thing. If you want the cutscene and want to end the game, there is something that you need to do first. I'm going to tell you this right now, and please pay attention. What you need to do is bring the Maxis drone down into the crazy place. Once there, you need to use the Maxis drone, and he'll float up and up into the portal that's above. He'll say a quote very quickly, and once that is, uh, once he's done, you'll go up. You'll, you'll have a beam come from the ceiling. And once there, you have the option to press X. If you press X, this ends the game, and this also gives you the cutscene. So that is basically what happens, guys. The cutscene isn't different from the leak one, sadly, but that is how you do Little Lost Girl. So, um, sorry if this was um, any confusing. I just, I just did this, so I'm very excited. Um, but you guys, this is basically it. This is how you do the Easter egg. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Lots of effort was taken into this. Um, I think we actually finished uh, We finished at the exact same time as another team. We were like, it was dead heat for who got it first uh, and all that kind of shit. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to leave a like. Make sure to spread this around so people know how to do this achievement. It's very simple. And um, I like to say thank you guys for watching. And make sure to check out all the people who were in this, who helped out in the description below because they are awesome. They are the ones who helped this. This is the team. This is the team, and it was a glad working with them, guys. Um, if you guys are seeing this on a community channel, because there is a couple of community channels that are asking for this, uh, make sure to check out my channel. I'm the one who's done this video, so woo, that'd be nice. But other than that, guys, I like to say thank you, and I hope you guys find this uh, find this helpful in any way. And I shall talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys enjoy the cutscene um, that you guys will get with this. So um, thank you guys for watching, and I shall talk to you later. Uh, peace. Tomorrow, Eddie, you get to make the rules. I promise. Come on, Fluffy. I wish the heroes in our stories were real, Sam. I know what you mean. But we will make everything okay. My dad says he has a plan. <laughs>